Thank you for renting a little beaver to help you with your building, fencing, or planting projects. We know that people rent equipment to make their job easier, and we're confident that the features and performance of the little beaver will save time and effort on your project. In the many years of supplying equipment to rental yards, we've also learned that first-time users often have questions about power equipment. We've designed this video to supplement our rental brochures and to answer your questions about using the Little Beaver Earth Drill. The Little Beaver is a fully portable engine-powered earth drill. What makes Little Beaver different from other handheld augers is the carriage-mounted engine and torque tube design. The torque tube takes the twisting motion caused by turning the auger into the soil and transfers it to the engine carriage. This lowers operator fatigue by letting the little beaver do all the work of drilling. The little beaver should never be used without the torque tube. The auger is attached to an output shaft on the handle. The most common size auger for fencing and deck construction is 8 inches. Ask your rental yard for special augers if you know you will be digging in rocky conditions, if you are digging holes for planting trees or shrubs in a landscaping project, or if you have special drilling needs. Little Beaver can be easily handled as four main components, the engine carriage, handle, auger, and torque tube. These components can be loaded into the trunk of most intermediate or larger cars. The unit will not be damaged by coiling the flexible shaft, but use care to avoid bending the shaft tighter than an 18-inch radius. Make sure the engine is loaded so gasoline or oil will not leak. If the torque tube is carried in the passenger compartment, it should be secured. When you get to the work site and the unit has been unloaded, pull the handle out away from the engine carriage until the shaft is straight. Slip the torque tube onto the long black shaft on the handle. Place the other end of the torque tube onto the torque tube connector on the engine carriage. Push the tube onto the connector until the release button pops out and engages the torque tube. For your protection, the engine will not operate without the torque tube in place. Start the engine and install the auger when the engine is warmed up. To install the auger, lift the handle and place the auger into the drive adapter on the bottom side of the handle gearbox. Push the auger into the adapter until the release button pops out and locks the auger in place. The auger should not be installed until the engine has been started and is ready to begin digging. Be sure the engine is at idle and the adapter is not turning. The engine on the Little Beaver uses regular no-lead gasoline and does not require oil to be mixed with the gasoline. Stop the engine and allow it to cool before refueling. The engine oil and gearbox lubrication should have been checked by the rental yard prior to pickup. However, it is always wise to check engine oil daily before startup. Because different engines are used, ask the rental yard operator to show you how to check oil level properly. The Little Beaver has two controls on the handle assembly. The on-off switch is on the right handle and is flipped away from you to stop the engine and toward you to allow the engine to operate. The engine throttle is squeezed with the left hand. A clutch on the engine disconnects power to the auger at low engine speed and begins to engage as the engine speed increases. 
the engine should always be operated at full speed when drilling to allow the clutch to be fully engaged. To start the engine, the auger must be removed and the on-off switch on the handle must be in the on position. Set the choke lever on the engine to the on position and pull the starter rope. The engine should start after two or three pulls. If it is necessary to rev up the engine for starting or warm-up, gently push on the triangular plate on the engine throttle bracket to slightly open the carburetor and speed up the engine. The number one precaution any time you dig is to make sure no underground utility lines such as phone, gas, or electrical services are encountered by your digging. If you are not absolutely positive the area is clear, call your local digger's hotline to have the services in the area marked. Failure to observe this rule can be very costly or deadly. Before digging, make sure all observers are at least 20 feet away. Wear closed shoes and long, close-fitting clothing for maximum protection from thrown soil or stones. Eye protection is highly recommended. Do not allow untrained people or children to use the little beaver. Proper lifting techniques are essential when lifting the auger from the hole. Lift with the legs and arms while keeping the back straight. If the auger will not come out of the hole, Start it rotating to clear soil from the auger flighting before lifting. The little beaver is easily moved longer distances by picking up the auger and handle with one hand on the torque tube and the auger shaft in the other hand, allowing the handle to turn 90 degrees the auger and handle can be carried comfortably in front of you. The engine must be stopped if moving the little beaver in this way. Walk carefully, picking as smooth a path as possible, and allow the engine carriage to follow. For moving short distances or for positioning at the hole while the engine is running, grasp the handle away from the throttle lever to prevent accidental acceleration of the engine, which would cause the auger to turn. Move the little beaver into the approximate position for drilling the hole. Start the engine and install the auger when the engine is warmed up. Stand so the auger is straight up and down in the correct position to dig the hole. Make sure bystanders are clear of the area and start drilling the hole. Make sure the engine is running at full speed. When digging in soft soil, it may be necessary to hold back slightly to prevent the auger from screwing itself into the soil. In hard soils, some down pressure may be necessary to speed digging. Never apply force sufficient to slow or stall the engine. The little beaver works best when operating at full speed. If an underground obstruction is hit, release the throttle immediately. Lift slightly on the auger and carefully speed up the engine. As the auger begins to turn, lower the auger to resume drilling. Be ready to react should the auger catch again. Some obstructions may need to be removed by hand digging. When the hole is completely dug, stop the auger by releasing the throttle lever. Never pull the auger from the hole while the auger is turning. Again, thank you for renting a Little Beaver Earth Drill. Good luck with your project.